Okay, so today I have a review of the power support tempered glass film for the Google Pixel 2 XL. Um, I have the Panda White or Panda Edition or whatever it's called. I really need to get a dbrand skin to protect the back. Uh, honestly, even with the screen or my case, it leaves a ring around the outside. We'll talk about what case I use in just a second. Um, but first, I want to talk about this glass. Uh, I don't know, you can probably see all the fingerprints on it right now. Uh, it's a fingerprint magnet, first of all. Uh, let me go ahead and clean that up. <clears throat> now, it's, it's an okay uh, screen protector. Uh, there's things I like about it, things I don't like. Uh, so first we'll get into the, the things that I don't like. Um, first of all, there's there's a rainbow effect right down the center of the screen and it's really only visible in the when the screen's black it's not you know when you're using the phone it's not a big deal um, you may or may not be able to see it uh, in this but it's it's just it's just a weird rainbow effect right down the center I think if the thing is is it doesn't stick to the phone it just sticks around the edges actually it's just it just sticks here 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 and here it doesn't even go around stick around the edges here so it just kind of sits on top of the phone in the middle sticking to it if the whole thing stuck to the glass it wouldn't that problem wouldn't exist I wish they would have done that instead of the way they did this and it's got these micro dots all across it's like a grid and you can see it I can see it right now um, when the screens black but when the screens on you can't see it so um, if that kind of thing would bother you then you would want to stay away from this it, it bothers me a little bit but overall I, I find myself not noticing it the more I use it um, the the edges well, let's see, I don't know if you can see it, the little grids, but uh, the edges stick, they stick good. I heard people talking about how they fall off, but hopefully that doesn't happen. They say when they drop it, I haven't dropped mine, hopefully I won't drop it, um, but it's getting hair stuck in here too, like hair and dust, it's kind of annoying, but the the main those things are I can deal with uh, but the main thing is since it doesn't touch the screen since there's a space you can feel it when you touch it and since there is a gap there stuff gets down in side of that so I've got lint inside of in between the screen protector and the phone and or not lint but like little bitty hairs um, just a little dust and that annoys me I don't I can't stand that so I may switch to a, a I have a zag uh, screen protector that I ordered and it's just instead of curving around the edges it's just a flat square piece so I may switch to that it sticks to the phone um, but those are the things that I don't like about it uh, now the things that I do like about it is that it curves around the edges and it fits the phone and you can't really even tell that you have a screen protector on there. I mean it looks good. It's you know up at the top it fits the phone perfectly all the way around the edges. You can't tell almost at all except for the tops and the bottoms that there's a screen protector on there and it's that's my favorite thing about it. It looks good. Um, and when I'm watching videos and stuff or playing games, you know, that, that rainbow doesn't, I don't really see it and I don't notice the, um, the grid. So it's not that bad to me. Um, so another thing I like about it is um, it fits my symmetry case when I put my phone in my case, it fits perfect. 
Um, I mean, they were like they were made for each other. It fits right up to the edges. So it looks really nice. Um, you know, I don't know if I'll keep using the symmetry case or get another case in the future, but uh, so far, uh, these two things have worked out well together. I don't know how much protection it'll offer, like if something hit it or it dropped, but um, I don't want to test that either. <laughs> Honestly, I, you know, I see people doing drop tests and uh, uh, on these phones, and that it terrifies me because I have to buy my phone. Uh, you know, I purchased this myself, and I don't want to drop it. So. Uh, let's see yeah overall I mean it's a decent it's a decent screen protector or tempered glass they say it's a tempered glass it feels feels more like plastic honestly uh, but it's real smooth you know it feels good to touch um, but I don't think it's worth $39.95 I think they could have done a little bit better uh, with the center like if it would have just stuck to the glass in the center that would have been it that would have been good if it would have been you just take it stick it on there and it sticks to the glass with the round edges that would have been the best and I hopefully you know since these are new and there's not many options hopefully somebody will come out with something like that um, let's see so I'll show you this is my OtterBox Symmetry case. Now I've I watched reviews on it before I bought it, and you know just to see a little bit about it, how it fits the phone, if it's going to be too thick or too thin, or you know protect well, whatever. I was debating on this and the Defender Edition, but that Defender is way too thick. This one's just right. You know it offers protection, keeps it. You know the edges keeps the phone off the table if you lay it down on its face, and. Uh, see let me put this down in this pop socket you know a lot of people like them or don't like them to me this, after using them I can't live without it it's just something extra to hold the phone since the phone is so big uh, with your hand I mean I could hold it fine but if I want to just like take a picture or do something I don't want to have to you know reach my thumb around real hard or hold it with his hand I want to be able to one hand the phone and that pop socket really helps out you know it's it, it makes it a little chunky but I deal with it um, the OtterBox case the buttons are a little hard to press I'll say that but I've gotten used to it you know it's not a big deal sometimes I find myself when I'm squeezing trying to squeeze this to turn the screen off I end up pressing the Google Assistant so let's pop the phone back in here and I'll show you what the glass looks like inside the case turn on all kinds of stuff right now Google Assistant and everything else <clears throat> alright so now with the phone in the case you'll see the screen protector comes right up to the edge you know it's like it was meant for it right to the edge it looks nice I mean you can't even tell it almost looks like they're together you know like a case with a cover in the front together but they're not so it does fit well together and that may influence some uh, some decisions it just depends on what you like personally I, I love it I wish it was I wish it was stuck in the center so it would react better to touch and wouldn't have that rainbow effect and stuff wouldn't get behind it if it if that were the case you know it completely would be worth it but um, I honestly kind of wish I wouldn't have bought it but I have it I'm just gonna keep using it and see you know see how it works for a while I have the backup if I ever need to put it on um, 
the OtterBox case has the little notch cut out so you can get your finger in there real easy to you know swipe down and swipe up works really nice um, what else that's about it uh, see the phone the phone's great the Google Pixel 2 love it switched from iPhone um, really impressed with it does a lot of cool things I might do a review a review on the phone later just to talk about the phone and what I like and don't like compared to iPhone but right now that's it so thanks for watching